Hello again everyone and welcome to the back garden yard. You may remember when I planted a whole bunch of early girl seeds that were left over from soaking in a video that I released about uh, planting tomatoes. Okay, what we're doing today is we're going to uh, turn these into individual plants and each of these plants will normally sell for $4.99 these, these days at the big box stores. That's right, $4.99. So we're going to turn this into $50 worth of tomato plants. So how are we going to do that? We're going to use these cups. And this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 times 5 is $50. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go over and fill the cups up and I'm only going to fill it about one third of the way full to start with of this mixture right here of the uh, strained and cooked garden soil so I'm going to put that on the bottom and then we're going to lay the plants in and then we're going to put the compost of manure the American countryside that is the least expensive I found this year and we're also going to mix that with some organic choice and we're going to finish filling that up now these are only going to sit in these cups until they get a little bigger until I'm ready to put them out so it doesn't really matter about it. we're not going to try to grow them in these cups so the first thing I'm going to do is put in the baked strain mix from the garden. This is garden soil. And I'm just going to fill up the bottom about a third of the way all these cups. And then I want to wet it down so it won't keep falling out the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to mix some of the compost and the organic choice soil together in this bucket here. And we're going to move it back up to the work table. We're moving everything back up to the work table. Here's our pot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these two right here. They're totally close together as an example of how to separate ones that are too close together. Sometimes you'll buy them in the store and you'll see that they put two seeds together and you get two plants. But you wonder, well, how's the best way to separate those? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. So I've got a knife and I'm just going to cut the soil way down because these roots are probably going way down now. So I'm going straight down though and I'm just going to make a little triangle actually a rectangle at this point and then I'm going to go down and pull them out trying not to damage these other ones and let's pull it up and here they are okay now what I want you to notice is there are little hairs on the sides of these plants. Those will grow in the roots if they're planted. But what we're going to do first, of course, there's some of those weeds. We're going to pull out all the weeds we can see. But we're going to put it down in this water. And in this water, it's just rainwater. It's going to dissolve off the dirt that's holding them together. And we're going to end up with the plants with their roots and they're still together so we're going to shake them a little more now you can see it's just roots now I'm going to try to shake one loose and there you go I got a perfect plant right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down here in the first pot like this and I'm going to lay the, the root down on the ground and kind of circle it like that then I'm going to get 
some of this mix I just mixed and I'm going to just put it on top like this then I'm going to put more on the side and I'm trying to keep it kind of towards the center but it's not necessary that it stay right in the center and there we go and now that one is saved well I'm over here drowning the other one so let's get it out and there it is it's got a beautiful root there what we're going to do is put it in let it wrap around like that and then we're going to cover it up with soil like so go and I wash that off when I water it here in just a second because you got to water them immediately as you are doing this because you had bare roots out so here we go we'll rinse this one off and water it rinse this one off it's actually not that dirty and water it. Okay, now we've got them in there perfectly planted and now we want to finish filling it up. All the way to the top of the container because it will settle some more but we're covering up those little hairs because they'll actually make more roots. Now, it's really hard to mess this up if you'll do it this way. And the reason is that tomatoes are one of the easier to transplant, especially if you'll let this second set of leaves come out. Uh, they really do well transplanting like this. So, there you go. And then, I'm gonna water this again. and that's how you do it okay so what i'm going to do is do the second one uh the same way uh this particular time i'm not going to be talking i'm going to speed it up just so you can see the next two that i do and i'm going to get them out of this bunch right here because as you can see there's a there's a three of them right there together so I'm gonna get those three and separate those and put them in pots and I'm not gonna talk as I do this I'm just gonna go ahead and get it done Okay, so now I am finished with um, the first five. I've still got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six more to do. So <clears throat> this will be six more to do. I'm going to go ahead and do these and then I'll cut the camera back on and we'll take a look at it. Okay, folks, we have finished the job. This did not take long at all. You saw how quickly I just put them in the water, rinsed off the roots. The good thing is now, all these weeds that are in this pot got rinsed off and they're at the bottom of this mixture here. So now I've got 11 plants that I got out of that pot and they look like they are doing fine. Now yeah, there'll be a little bit of uh, 
shock to the plants just because transplant shock happens when you go to the bare roots like that but they'll probably recover in a day or two and when they put on one more set of leaves they're going to be ready to transplant into the garden and these were the ones I was working on when I got the idea to go ahead and show you how to do it and uh, they were done yesterday and you can see they've already recovered nicely from the transplanting so with that we're going to end this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon on the next video